Hey racers, John Racer here today back to open the Hot Wheels 2019 and case cars. We have a lot of cars to open, so I'm just going to skip right to it and start unboxing them. Sadly, there is no Chiron for this race, but hopefully the Chiron will appear in another uh, case race. But I don't know what case that'll be, so I guess we're just going to have to wait. But besides, I don't know why I'm starting. Here we go. Let's open up the 2018 Honda Civic Type R Surfers car in white, the recolor of the red version that came out earlier this year. Looking very nice and I'm glad to have it in white. Next up, we've got another white recolor. We've got the Dark Knight Batmobile. Here, looking very cool. Next up, we've got Hot Wheels Rapid Responder. This thing is very, very quick. If you guys were gonna choose a car on this video, I would personally recommend this thing because it is so quick. Can't wait to see it go compete against these other fast cars that we have unboxed today. Next up we have Shark Cruiser. The Shark Car, looking very cool indeed. Next up we've got, oh and it's also a treasure hunt. I did not realize that. You can see the little treasure hunt logo on the top there. That's very cool. Now we've got Robo Race Robo Car, the recolor of the Robo Race Robo Car that came out earlier this year. As you can see, I've even got it here. We got the two Robo Cars looking very nice together. I like the white version a lot. Next up, we've got the recolor of Skyboat. Probably one of the weirdest castings, I think, that has been unboxed so far this year. And it looks, it's just, it's just a weird looking car, man. I, I don't know, I don't know, it's just, just weird. Next up, we've got probably my favorite car in the case, the McLaren Senna. Let's unbox this baby. Looking very sharp in orange. I personally think it looks a lot better in orange, but that's just my personal opinion. Attention all collectors, if you want a chance to win a $50 Target gift card, all you gotta do is to go into the description of the video you're watching right now and click the link and fill out a short little survey that Matchbox want you guys to fill out. The Matchbox team wants you to learn more about you guys, so they'll listen to everything you have to say in the survey, and it's actually pretty fun to fill out. Uh, one entry is one email, so you could enter multiple times, and I would greatly appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments when you fill out the survey, and I'll give you a shout out at the end of the video. This survey is, as again, as I said earlier, super easy to fill out. It asks you questions about your collection and what you like to collect, so it's super fun to just look back and see what your answers are. So go ahead, fill out the survey in the description. I would greatly appreciate it, and so would Matchbox. And I'll see you guys back in the video. Love the color of this thing. It just looks absolutely beautiful. Next up, we've got Croc Rod in gold. I don't think this has come out yet this year. But Croc Rod's always one of those cool cars to see come out again. Especially in gold, looks pretty cool. I do like that. Next up we got Volkswagen SP2, a recolor from the Tandem that came out earlier this year. We got it in red now. Very cool looking car there. Next up we've got the Corvette Grand Sport. Let's unbox this baby there. I love the wheels on this one. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Uh oh, looks like it has some, the front wheels do not spin very well on this thing. That is, that is unfortunate. Oh well, I'll try and race it anyway. Just know that the wheels on this thing don't really spin that well. Uh, yeah, that's a bummer. Uh, I'll, I'll probably unbox another one at some point so that it can race down the track, but Oh well, next up we've got Carbide, came out early this year again. All of these fancy cars are getting mixed up. I don't know if it's a recolor or not, I don't know if I race it or not. So I apologize if I've already raced it, but there we go. Carbide, another fancy car for you to choose. Next up we've got a custom 56 Ford truck. I think this came out earlier this year. I think I complimented the color, but I don't remember what it was, but I do like the matte black on this thing. It looks very nice, low rider there. Very cool. Next up we've got Mock Speeder in blue, which looks very nice. I love Mock Speeder as a casting and I love this paint on castings. 
So that's always a plus. That looks very nice. Next up, we've got Bot Wheels, which is a very weird looking car, but I guess you could choose it if you want. I don't know. If, I think it'll probably fit on the track. Hopefully it's quick, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Next up, we have one of the best looking cars in the case, the Audi RS5 Coupe. In red there, that looks super good. I love this casting. Pretty sure this is a new casting. The wheels look so good on this thing. This casting overall just looks like an absolute unit. Hopefully it's fast on the track. That would make the casting perfect. But here we go. Next up we have Solar Reflex in red there. Red, white, and blue paint scheme. I always love me a red, white, and blue paint scheme. This car hasn't come out in a while, but the wheels on this thing look super good. I do like that car a lot. Next up, we've got a 64 Buick Riviera in green with the D on the top. Probably for Day of the Dead, I would guess, because that's what the uh, decals on it show. So that's pretty cool. Next up, we have Runaway Rescue. It looks like this thing will actually fit on the track. That's that that is this thing is huge i think the top comes up yep that's pretty cool pretty cool stuff this is a huge car metal bumper there definitely made for ramming i can tell but that is a that is a that is a massive unit of a car and speaking of massive units of a car we have baja hauler this car i don't know if it will fit on the track or not i don't think it will just looking on it but i will check here real quick and it looks like oh it will fit on the track i was mistaken both of these cars will fit on the track so if you want to choose them go ahead and choose them they're looking very sharp next up we have surf and turf in green it came out in purple i think earlier this year so there you have it there this looks super good on the camera wow very nice stuff next up we have evil weevil in green i I think it came out earlier this year. I could be wrong, but I don't remember what color it was. It must have been earlier this year. But there you go, we got another Evil Weevil car. I like the color on that thing. Next up we have Flash Drive. Take this thing out of the package. There we go. In red. I think this casting was fast the first time I unboxed it, but it's got one of those splitters that raises up and down, so it's gotta be fast, right? Alright, last two cars, we got the Mazda RX-7 in green, very nice looking car there, I love the RX-7, so it's awesome to see it come out again with a little Kony decal on the side, and then finally our main line for the case, the Tesla Model S in blue, looking very sharp there, I love Teslas, I think Teslas are decently fast on the Hot Wheels track as well, so you got that going for you if you choose the Tesla. Now, comment down below what car you think will win this race, and if your comment is correct, you will get a shout out at the end of the next video. So go ahead, leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy.